Hello, I'm Clayton Stoffelbeam, Central Illinois PFR Location Lead with Bex Hybrids. Today with me we have Paul Harms. We are at the Precision Planting Winter Conference in Tremont, Illinois. Um, right now we're going to go ahead and talk about one of the new products they've released over this past week called, called Smart Depth. Yeah, we're excited about Smart Depth. Uh, the, the research for us is we've continued to chase uh, uniform emergence and, and salvaging or saving our best potential for harvest or yield potential is getting all of those plants out of the ground at a uniform time within that 12 to, or, um, 24 to 36 hour window. And as we've dug in and done the research, we've found that that uniform emergence comes from uniform germination and the, the, the aspects of germination, the, pe the features that gr drive uniform germination is moisture and temperature. Mm -hmm. And you can have, a, um, you know, our research that Justin shared this week was, you can have over an inch of variation in depth. As long as we all have uniform moisture and temperature, right. emergence all maintains within a 17 hour window. So those seeds being one inch deeper than their neighboring seeds, if they all germinate at the same time, they'll reach the surface nearly the same time. And we're staying within that 24 to 36 hour window, which means now you're not targeting an ideal depth you're targeting an ideal moisture. So right. all of our planting studies for the past, and we've worked with you guys yep. uh, for quite a few years on planting depth studies. Mm -hmm. And what we were pulling out in data was, or, or the results was not an ideal planting depth, but at what planting moisture, or right. at what planting depth right. was the ideal moisture this year. So the goal would be what Smart Depth will, pr will provide for us in conjunction with the Smart Firmer. The information that the Smart Firmer provides is an active soil moisture for this part of the field, these field conditions, these environments this year. I'm able to have the row unit, as we move forward and we complete beta testing, we'll have the row unit target or maintain the ideal moisture so I can mu make my germination a lot more uniform. So what is the ideal moisture you're going after? Right now we're looking at 30% on the Smart Farmer reading, which is that seed, we have enough moisture in the soil for that seed to imbibe um, and, and gain 30% of its mass, uh, or its, its weight by volume in, in the next three days. All right, so we've done some uh, research studies with planting depth by conditions. The, with those studies, multi-location across six farms, we realized that the two inch planting depth was at two inches for this past season. Now. Like Paul and I were talking about that 30% moisture, that sweet spot, was that two inch depth at 30% moisture. In the future, we're going to be able to use the smart firmer with smart depth to help pinpoint that 30% moisture range to see if that's the best place for planting depth. Yeah, and that, that's what we're excited about is using that smart firmer ability, the smart firmer's ability to give us a hard measurement, uh, a, a quantifiable number in the cab as we go along. So as I transition to different soil types and field conditions, I know where the moisture line is in my soil and not just where I visually see it as I dig across a couple rows, but I can get a hard measurement that says, if I put the seed at this depth, it will have enough moisture in the soil. And for us, that baseline is, that minimum bottom is about the 30%. So I wanna make sure that that seed is at least in the 30% right. range. So I know in the next 24 to 36 hours, I have good moisture available for that seed to imbibe. The other thing that I think is really important with depth is having your planter indexed. So having a research planter on a research farm, you wouldn't think you'd cover the acres to where your indexing would be off. Um, one season I indexed the planter, the next season I indexed it again, and it was dramatically different from the year before. On my T handles I had permanent marked what depth on each row was the same to the next row next to it. So my T handle was in a different spot on every single row of that planter to make it consistent across the board. Now speak to me just a little bit of the calibration of this thing, how easy it is, and are we going to make that planter consistent across the whole planter toolbar. Yeah, for those that aren't familiar, what he's talking about on indexing a row unit or indexing a planter is all of the mechanical components, all the physical, the gauge wheel arms, the mustache, all of those components that go between the gauge wheels that touch the soil and your T-handle that's setting the depth, those all wear at different rates across different rows, which means when you set a T-handle across the planter, across the entire number of rows, you'll get if you, if you make the same setting across all of the rows, you'll get different true depths out of your opening discs. So what we do is we measure 
with two by four set of known width underneath mm -hmm. the gauge wheels, we get, that's my one and a half inches. I need to find out at what T-handle set point for each row that value is. Well, instead of having to raise and lower the planter yeah. dozens of times, crawl on your belly, look underneath there, get the measurement. Um, smart depth will simplify that. So outside of the, the big gain of chasing or, or making sure that seeds are planted in moisture, this will make indexing a planter very simple as it can move, uh, move the, the depth setting, identify what the accurate point is. Uh, that will be based in with our 2020 Connect app as we move forward. So very simply lower the planter once. Um, we can work through that with our, with our phone behind the planter and test with some two by four. So we'll get all of the row units hitting the same target depth to begin with. And then as we go to, to make sure that our seeds are placed in moisture, we know our depth is accurate. So he's gonna help our calibration on not only our research farms, but our farm as a whole to make sure our planter is consistent. When we go to the field, we know what the planter is doing yeah. with an exact value, looking at the 2020 in the cab, knowing that I'm planting it two inches deep, or I'm letting it do its thing, trying to target that 30% moisture line. So with that, I'm Clayton Stumpelbeam. I want to thank you for joining us in this video, and we look forward to working with Precision Planner again in the future, like we have been in the past few years. Look forward to it. Thank you.